Hey, what's up everybody? Doing something a little bit uh, different today. Um, working on this Lamborghini Scion. As you can tell, the shop is in full operation. Normally we come in early in the mornings and, and shoot videos when it's nice and quiet. But unfortunately, the amount of time we have uh, to do that gets smaller and smaller. So Wes and I figured we'd try this out here. Okay, this car right here just came in, long-term customer. You know, we need to look it over to figure out exactly what it needs. You know, a lot of people make the mistake thinking these brand new cars um, is gonna be somehow different than some of the older cars like this here. They still come in with a lot of issues on them. People have been mishandling them ever, from it, ever since it went from the factory to getting to us. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on with it. Uh, after looking at it a little bit closer, find out it's got a lot of sanding marks. So we're gonna go in here, get this polished up before it goes in for paint protection film and, uh, uh, and coating. You know, I had already worked on the other side of the car the other day. This side, I don't have too many sanding marks uh, and things with it, but I do have a lot of scuffs, scuffs and, uh, and scrapes and bugs. Um, but uh, what I'm gonna do, my approach here is after getting it clean up, bring it inside, prep, wipe it down to make sure that, that um, we, you know, we can see the real surface of what's happening and then go in with a test section. Um, another thing about test sections, uh, you know, reading through some of the comments of another video we just put up, you know, people get a little confused when we talk about test sections, thinking that we have all these different products that we're using. No, we only have a couple of products that we use all the time. And my test section is just to verify that that process that we normally use is going to work the way we want it uh, uh, to work. So I'm going to go in uh, now, do a quick compounding section. I'm going to take a look at it. If that looks great, I move on. If not, I try something different. Usually that means increasing my pressure uh, a little bit. So follow along while I work with this. I've got my Rupus, we're at about speed four and a half, uh, Meguiar's microfiber cutting disc and Jeskar compound. I mean, that is, uh, that is what we're using most of the time and most of the time that works out perfectly. So I'm gonna pick out a spot here that's gonna be one of the rougher ones and that is where I'm gonna work. Now I did just my normal process uh, in there, which is going to be two sets up, down, two sets left, right. Small area, overlapping passes, and a decent amount of pressure, probably about the 17, 18 pounds of pressure. Now I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna look at it, and then just to be sure, I'm gonna grab some prep. I'm gonna spray this down. That's just making sure I don't have anything hiding after I have done my section. I'm gonna look at it again. See, yeah, I'm really good with how that came out. So if I'm good with that, then I'm gonna go immediately into a test section right on top of that with my normal finish polishing process, which is typically the yellow Rupus pad and Sonax Perfect Finish. And I'm gonna verify that is going to work as it normally does. And once I'm sure of that, then I'll just continue on with the rest of the car in the same process. I know that I'm good to go. Now this process worked out well for me um, Friday when I was working on it, today's Monday. But I just want to make sure I go over the exact same spot, same speed. Now I'm using a decent amount of pressure now, but it is a little bit less than what I did on the compounding stage. I'm probably in that 14 to 15 pounds of pressure. 
same thing, 50% overlap, two sets, left, right, two sets, up, down. And because I've been sitting here talking to everybody, I've probably lost count of uh, my left, right, and up, down. That's okay. Now, once again, we're going to take a look at this. Now, normally, when I'm going through the whole process, I'm not going to use the same towel. I'm going to have different towels for compounding than I am finish polishing. But for a test section, it doesn't matter that much. So I'm going to look at it first before wiping anything down. Looks great. I'm not seeing any kind of remnants of compounding haze whatsoever. No more defects in there. It's got a lot of brilliance to it. Uh, the metallic flake comes out a lot. I'll go ahead and do a quick prep wipe down just to make sure I'm happy with everything. We'll see how it goes. And as expected, I'm still good with how the process looks. So I can continue on with uh, the rest of the car. A car like this, it's got so many different angles and, and, and you know, different shapes and stuff going on. I'm gonna break this down into really small sections. Really, the more complex an area is, the smaller the sections that you wanna work at a time. A car like this is gonna use a lot of tape because, you know, you don't wanna be working up against an area where there's another area where the backing plate can hit uh, against it. So, now we're gonna jump into doing the rest of it. I think we're gonna take this whole rear deck lid off. It makes it a little bit simpler uh, throughout the process. Hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit better idea of what we go through when we start off with a car to determine what it's going to take. Now, if I had five different compounds and three different finish polishing, I'd be here for the next hour trying to figure it out. But over the years, since we have developed our system, brought it down to uh, uh, an area that we know it's gonna be really consistent, I don't have to mess with any of that. I know on just about every car, every type of paint, that is going to work out great and for you whether you're a diy person or whether you're a professional detailer that's super super important to get a good consistent system uh, that's going to work great all of the time just saves me time now i can jump right into it once again hopefully you found this one helpful if so let us know we're going to do a lot more i uh, will call them down and dirty videos like this as always we appreciate you hanging out with us here on the esoteric channel look forward to seeing you in the next video